think there'll be a lot of crying. We'll miss her. Mm. A lot of emotions tonight felt by neighbors of a Clay County woman who vanished three months ago. Today, multiple sources confirmed to us that the body of Susan Malden was found in a landfill in southern Georgia. On your sides, Robert Bradfield spoke to one of Malden's closest friends tonight, her next door neighbor. These fresh flowers were placed at the front entrance of Susan Malden's home. Her neighbors say they are devastated by the news. Her body was found, but also grateful. They now have a little bit of closure. We're all consoled, and now hopefully we can have a funeral. Pat Ritchie prepared herself for the news. Her dear friend Susan Malden would not be found alive. She'd been invited over for tea and dinner often. So when days turned into weeks, which turned into months without seeing her friend, Richie feared the worst. The FBI began searching the Chesser Island landfill last week, and this Wednesday, our sources say Molden's body was found. Corey Binderum, a contractor Molden hired for remodeling work, is a person of interest. He was arrested last year on a forgery charge unrelated to Molden's case. Richie finds comfort knowing there were efforts to find her. Yes, yes, that somebody finally cared enough to do something. Yes, we're thrilled. We're thrilled about that. Our sources also telling us Corey Binderum will be charged in connection with Malden's death. We will keep you updated as this case develops. In Clay County, Robert Bradfield, First Coast News, on your side.